Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the Educanon Broadcast System. Our goal with the Educanon Broadcast System is to really help you work together on an Educanon bulb with your students. With the traditional Educanon system, each student's watching an Educanon bulb, the video with embedded questions, alone on their own device, at their own pace, asynchronously. With the Educanon Broadcast System, you'll be projecting an Educanon lesson to your students, and all students will be responding to your questions at the same time, but independently. So why don't I go ahead and show you what this looks like. Here I'm starting off on the teacher side on my bulbs page where all your educated lessons are stored. I find the lesson I want to broadcast. I click on these triple dots. I go to options and I click on broadcast. In order for students to join your broadcast lesson, all they need to go to is educanon.com slash broadcast, and then on that screen, they'll be typing in your personalized code for that lesson. Again, this code is lesson specific. I'm going to copy this and send it to a student. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to another screen, which is a student account. Here I'm on educanon.com slash broadcast, and I'm just going to paste in that same code you saw on the last screen and I'm gonna join that class. And now I, as a student, I'll be waiting for the question for when the teacher reaches it. Going back to the teacher side, notice that you see the student by clicking on here, Joseph Biden, who you saw on the other screen join. I'm also gonna join with another student uh, that you don't see pictured here, but is somebody I'm taking the lesson with from my mobile phone. And now the second student has joined. Now that my students are in the class, I'm going to go ahead with the lesson. Again, imagine I'm projecting this lesson to my class. I'm really controlling the pacing. And I'm going to go straight ahead to my first question. Now all the students that are in this class are going to see this question on their screen. Just like I was saying here, this is the first question that the student is saying. I'm going to say, this is my response from Joe Biden. Submit. And you see that one student has submitted it. That's Joseph Biden. And I still have another student. That's Albert Gore. Uh, he's a student I'm taking the lesson on from my phone. I'm going to go ahead and submit it. And the lesson, the response has been submitted. And you'll see that all students have been, have submitted their responses. And it works just the same way for all educated question types. I'm going to show you a multiple choice as an example. Again, it's the same setup. I'll be, uh, now that the question has appeared on the teacher side, it's also going to appear on the student side. I'm going to go ahead and respond, select poverty as my response. And you notice the, that one student has submitted poverty here. I'm going to submit it from Al Gore also. And I'm going to select a different answer this time. And now you see a breakdown. It, it's a histogram of sorts showing you what are the most common responses that your students are selecting. And now, as your students are submitting the responses, you, you see in real time where your students are, how many students are responding, what are the common misconceptions, but you can also go back at a later time to reference this data. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Just like you would in an asynchronous educant lesson, you navigate to your monitor tab. And I select the class that the bulb has been assigned to. I select this lesson. And I see Joseph Biden's response. The other student, Albert Gore, he's, he's part of another class, which is why you're not seeing him here. But all student responses part of this class will appear right here in the question by question breakdown, just like they would in the asynchronous edge canon. Hope you enjoy.